Hello everyone, uh, my name is Michael and this is a practice video as to what my final project will look like. So as I had stated, uh, my final project is going to be recorded gameplay of me playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Um, and this is a continuation of my artifact presentation. I intend to um, basically show, uh, discuss the terms that I had um, I guess further discuss the terms that I had stated in my artifact presentation, but also show, um, I guess a visual representation kind of, of, you know, me playing one of the tycoon games that I discussed, um, and providing sort of a, kind of a audio essay at the same time. Obviously it's going to sound more scripted than this, but, you know, I just wanted to do this as a practice and to show you guys, uh, what the final project intends to look like. Uh, so the biggest thing is that this is the game, for those of you who may not be familiar with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and how it looks and sounds. Um, and I intend to play one of the levels of the game all the way through with the intention on completing the level, but uh, more of it will be focused on discussing terms from my artifact presentation, namely the ones from um, the article by Ian Bogost that we had discussed in class about video game rhetoric. Um, specifically terms like literacy, procedurality, um, flow is another one that I intend to go further into detail. Not only what the terms themselves mean, as defined by Bogos, um, but also as, as we look at them in class and also how they are demonstrated during the gameplay of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So, this is what um, this capture will look like. I'm using Windows Xbox Game Bar built into my laptop, and I'm just using my laptop standard microphone. So I honestly don't know what the sound levels are like, and I would absolutely 100% appreciate any feedback on that, because this is the first time that I've done this before, and I honestly did not even know this was a feature until only recently when I had um, discussed potential ideas for the final project. And so any feedback on that would be greatly appreciated. If worse comes to worse, I have a headset that I can use, which honestly could be more beneficial. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load a practice level. Um, instead of playing a new game, I'm just going to complete, um, do a game that I had already completed, the level I had already completed. Um, I guess Electric Fields, that's one of my favorites in this game. And so yeah, this is just going to be a quick little bit of me demonstrating what Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 looks like and the essential functions of the game. So this is the overall layout, this is the park that you're given to work with and some of the rides that I've built in the game as you can see here. If I click this button here and then I click this little icon that looks like a trophy, as you can see I've already achieved my objective to complete this level. And so this is literally just me um, exploring this level that I had already beaten and I wanted to just demonstrate to you guys what the game would look like and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and build a ride just so I can show you all what it looks like. And so this would be uh, where I would discuss how some of the processes of the game work. Uh, let's say in terms of procedurality and understanding like the mechanics of the game in order to you know build a successful park and to make guests happy. So just for fun um, I'm gonna go ahead and just build a ferris wheel for you guys to see here and while I'm doing this I'm gonna be completing the level of the game as if I was actually playing but I was gonna treat this as sort of a visual essay where I would discuss some of the terms in the class while also showing aspects of gameplay here um, so yeah I just wanted to do this just for fun just to demonstrate you guys as to what this would look like um, I would be completing a brand new level for this project as opposed to one that I had already completed because I feel like I would be able to learn at the same time as you guys would be able to watch gameplay if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> and I figure like it would be easier for me to demonstrate using a blank slate because that's what the game has basically given every single player to work with. And so that's what I intend to do. Uh, like I said, this is just a practice video to give you guys a sense as to what I intend to do with this project. And any and all feedback will be greatly appreciated. If there's anything that you would like me to clarify, please feel free to let me know and I'll be sure to um, get back to you guys on that. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this little practice video. I am very much looking forward to continuing this project 
and to go into greater detail as to how I intend to make this like sort of a culmination of the topics that we had discussed in this class. Um, but like I said, if there's anything that needs clarification, feel free to let me know. Thank you guys so much.